morning, GMS. I'm Annie Brinker. And I'm Maria Smith. Welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of September 28th. Welcome back to G the school, GMS, and welcome to our second episode of GMS News Show for the 2020-2021 school year. You may notice a lot of changes with the show as, as we work to record the show safely while following all social distancing guidelines. Please remain patient while we experience many changes. As a part of our back to school plan, all GMS students are required to wear a face mask over their nose and mouth. This includes in the hallways and in the classroom. Also make sure to socially distance and wear a face mask when you are going to any sporting events. Even wear your masks in the bathroom. Attention GMS students, if you're going on vacation, be sure your parents have sent in a letter a week ahead showing that you are leaving. Make sure you don't forget. With the delay of the start of the school year, Four days have been designed as e-learning makeup days. Two of these days will be in fall break. This will also be the same approach for Thanksgiving break. Remember, if you're out of school for an extended amount of time, you will still find all your assignments on campus. Remember to charge your computer every day once you get home, and make sure to put it in your backpack every morning. You need your computer for school. The 2020 and 2021 GMS yearbooks are now on sale. Go to www yearbookforever.com to order yours today. Lastly, if you are leaving early for an appointment, don't forget to bring a note to school with you that shows that you will be leaving early. Now let's go to the interview of the week top trending and the GMS sports update. Have a great week, everybody. Hello, GMS. I'm David Brinton with the GMS News Show. This is our interview of the week with eighth grade science teacher, Mr. Oshifel. How are you doing today? I'm doing super. How are you doing? Good. So, Mr. Osterfeld, how, would you like to t start by telling us a little bit about yourself? Uh, sure. Uh, I am, uh, for all my kiddos out there, I, I like to tell them I'm only 24 years old. I'm actually 36. I've been living in the Greenwood area for about 11 years. I'm married mm -hmm. to a wife, and I have a lovely dog named Nala. What is your favorite part about teaching and why? Uh, my favorite part of teaching is just interacting with the kids. Um, I like to think they keep me young, uh, but I also like just giving kids information and try to make them uh, know the same things that I do and try to enjoy science as much as I do. Why did you choose to teach eighth grade science instead of any other subject? Uh, well, originally I went to school to teach mathematics. Um, and I actually have a mathematics degree, but I thought it would be more fun to teach science, uh, and I actually liked it a little bit more. And so uh, that's the choice I made. Cool. How would you feel if we went back to e-learning? Um, I actually enjoy e-learning uh, just because I, I like technology, but I do know that there are a lot of struggles. Um, a lot of kids not showing up and doing the things that they're supposed to do, so it's kind of hard to, to keep that under control. Um, but I do enjoy being uh, with the kids in class a lot more, for sure. Yeah. What are some things that you would like to do in your free time? Um, well, I told you I have my, a dog, so I like to go on walks a few times a day with uh, her and my wife. And uh, I love playing basketball and uh, ultimate frisbee. Do you go on long walks with your dog? Uh, sometimes, it just depends. Uh, if I have the time, I'll go on a long walk around the neighborhood. If it's a short, short amount of time, I'll just take her on a shorter walk. Yeah, what's your favorite movie and why? Uh, this is a tough one. I kind of go back and forth between two usually. It's either uh, Matrix, uh, or the gladiator. I'd probably say the Matrix just because uh, it's, it's kind of a movie that has both action and it makes you think a little bit. Yeah. Thank you for coming to the show, Mr. Osterfeld. Have a good day. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Hello and welcome to Top Trending, where we discuss the latest trends of the week. I'm Davion Jones, and let's start with number three. TikTok has been purchased at the deadline date of September 20th. 
TikTok was forced to sell a percentage of its ownership out of fears the Chinese-owned app was mining data from its U.S. users. 20% of ownership has been purchased by Oracle and Walmart. What kind of changes do you see Walmart and Oracle making to TikTok? Would you rather they leave it alone? Number two, Microsoft announced last week they had acquired Zenimax Media, the parent company from Bethesda Softworks for $7.5 billion in cash. Bethesda Softworks are the creators of classic games such as Fallout, Doom, Elder Scrolls, and Wolfenstein. Does this mean these games will no longer appear on PlayStation consoles? Mr. Dean says, let's hope not. Number one. Ruth Bader Ginsburg's death. Ruth Bader Ginsburg died last week on September 18, 2020. Ruth was an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States. She was nominated by President Bill Clinton on June 14, 1993, and has served since August 10, 1993. She fought for general gender discrimination and women's rights. Many people loved her because of that. Her death has caused debate about whether or not the U.S. Senate should vote on a new Supreme Court justice so close to the presidential election. What do you think? This is Stop Trending. Have a great week. Hey, this is Kate Boyce, and I'm here with GMS Sports. On Monday, September 28th, GMS Cross Country Home versus Beach Garden Franklin at 5 p.m. Boys and Girls Soccer away at Plainfield at 5.30 p.m. Tuesday, September 29th, Boys and Tennis Mid-State Round 1 away at 5 p.m. Boys and Girls Soccer Educator away at 5.15. Seven Mays Grade Girls Volleyball Home versus Franklin at 5 p.m. Thursday, October 1st, Girls Golf Home versus Decatur at 4 p.m. Boys so Football 7th and 8th Grade Home versus Decatur at 5.30. Boys Tennis away Mid-State Round 2 at 5.30. This is sports and have a nice week.